What's crackin' friends? Today I'll show you how popular DJs have changed. You will learn their life stories and ages. Watch this video to the end to see what 15 EDM stars looked like in their youth and what they look like now, in 2023. Enjoy watching. The guy from Mississippi who through incredible hard work and love of music became a successful DJ and producer. Diblo was interested in creativity from an early age. He enjoyed playing the piano and musical equipment. The acquaintance with DJ Low Budget allowed the then little-known Thomas Pence to start his performances in the band Halertonix, which were incredibly successful. In 2004 he was able to found his own recording company Mad Decent, with the help of which he released his own debut album, Florida. 2015 gave the musician an unusual award he became the most recognizable artist of the Shazam app. Martin Garrix was already taking his first steps in the musical direction at the age of four, trying to play the guitar. And when in 2008 he saw DJ Tiesto perform at the opening ceremony of the Olympic Games in Athens, he finally realized what he wanted to do. At the age of 14 he managed to get his first contract with the Spinnin' Records label. The most popular work of Martin was the song Animals that got into the first lines of the top 10 countries in the world. Garrix is also actively engaged in charity, he cooperated with the organization F Cancer, which helps people suffering from cancer, and with the foundation supporting children's education Magic Bus. David Guetta was born in France in the family of a psychologist. He became interested in music at an early age already at the age of 13 his mixes became famous. David invited his friends to his house for parties. At the same time he monetized his creativity acquaintances paid 10 francs for their entrance. In 2002 Guetta released his debut album, which included the tracks Love Don't Let Me Go and People Come People Go. According to DJ Mag's Top 100, Guetta was voted Best DJ of 2011, and Billboard named his hit, When Love Takes Over, the best dance pop work of all time. Before we move on to the next celebrity, I want to ask you to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss my new videos. And also click like, it will be my pleasure. Thanks. Avicii is a Swedish music producer who has proven to the world that true talent finds a way to make itself known. Tim Bergling's music career was inspired by his brother, who worked as a DJ. Besides music Tim was fond of video games, often playing World of Warcraft. He created his first remix at the age of 16, on the musical theme of the game Lazy Jones. In 2010 Avicii became famous thanks to the tracks My Feelings For You, Blessed and Levels. Three years later, he was already earning $20 million for his work. Sadly, Avicii took his own life in 2018 due to depression. Tiesto took the title of the best DJ of the year three times in a row in 2002, 2003 and 2004 and a few years later he repeated his success three more times. He started his career at the age of 12. The director of independent Dutch record label quickly paid attention to him, and in 1994, he was signed a contract with a young musician. In the beginning of 2000s Tiesto released a remix of Delirium Silence, which reached the third position in the Billboard charts. His debut album In My Memory was a real breakthrough work, which brought the musician many awards and a huge tour around the USA. Calvin Harris started his way with home recordings and remained unknown for a very long time. DJ was ashamed of his fame and became more withdrawn, despite his talent. In 2006 he began signing contracts with major labels, and within a year he was already considered a co-writer of songs by Kelly Minogue and Dizzy Rascal. It's funny that Calvin once postponed the release of the new album, saying that he lost his laptop with the finished music at the airport. But later the DJ himself admitted that he made up this story because he didn't have time to finish the tracks. DJ Khaled is a talented hip-hop singer as well as a popular music producer in America. His parents instilled in their son a love of music by singing Arabic songs. Not surprisingly, as a teenager, he began trying to create his own beats. His parents supported their son's aspirations and helped him with the development of his talent. Khalid released his first album only in 2006, when he was 30 years old. But he moved up quickly, and already in 2007, he won the award for the best radio DJ. Another one. Robert Van de Corpet, better known as Hardwell, began his path to music by learning to play the piano. But it was not the kind of music that suited the future DJ. 
he was more into electronic dance music. That's what he started to create, making incredible progress in this direction. Already at the age of 14 Robert was invited to the clubs and, what's funny, he was obliged to take his parents there, since he was still a minor. At the same time Hardwell released his first music collection, Bubbling Beats. The track Show Me Love vs. B was released in 2009 and became a true dance hit. At the age of 25, Robert was named World's Best DJ by DJ Mag. From his childhood Kaigo was drawn to music already at the age of 6 he was playing simple melodies on the piano. As a teenager he started to master MIDI keyboard and he did it by himself with the help of video lessons on YouTube. His first remixes were published on the SoundCloud platform. In 2013 the most popular of them was Sexual Healing, based on Marvin Gaye compositions. But the track that gave Kaigo worldwide fame was the 2014 single Firestone, featuring singer Conrad Zuell. After that, he was noticed by other famous artists, with whom the DJ began to collaborate. Steve Aoki had been gathering friends who could play any musical instrument since he was 14 years old and recording cassettes of home concerts. He was only 19 years old when he was able to start his own label, Dim Mac Records. Interestingly, the name is a reference to one of the beats of movie actor Bruce Lee. His career includes many collaborations with such popular personalities as Linkin Park, One Direction, BTS and many others. In 2016, he was ranked 7th in the list of the best DJs in the world by DJ Magazine. Alan Walker was fond of computer technology and graphic design from an early age. That is why he made his first steps in the music industry with the help of the computer program Florida Studio. The first release track was Celebrate in 2012. But the really popular work he presented to the world in 2014 was the song Fade, which appealed to millions of listeners. Even those who have never heard the name Alan Walker are probably familiar with his music. In a few years the DJ's tracks have won over all the world's radio stations and the views of his clips on YouTube number in the billions. DJ Z was born in Saratov in the USSR. He was three years old when his family moved to Germany. Anton Zaslavsky's musical path began in 2002 when he joined the band Dramic, where he was called by his brother Arkady. Since 2009 he started to write his own tracks in the electro house genre. The track Dovergubben released that year immediately became popular, topping all kinds of lines in the music charts. In 2014 Zed received a Grammy Award in the category Best Dance Recording for the song Clarity, in the same year he entered the top 10 highest paid DJs in the world, according to Forbes. Armin van Buren started creating his own tracks from the age of 14, inspired by electronic music composer Savamp. Besides music Armin as a child loved video games and was interested in new technologies. At the age of 19 he released the Eurotrans hit Blue Fear, which became incredibly popular in England. In 2007, he took first place in the TOP 100 according to DJ Magazine and held that spot for three years in a row. In 2019 the artist released his seventh studio album Balance, which contains such styles as trance, house, hardstyle and recorded together with Above and Beyond in BT. Skrillex is the pseudonym of the American musician Sonny Moore, whose dubstep music has won eight Grammy Awards. It was he who made this genre popular among the masses. DJ was born into a poor family who gave their son up for adoption to their neighbors. Sonny was a withdrawn child and had a hard time communicating with classmates. After transitioning to homeschooling, Sonny became interested in making electronic music as well as playing guitar. In 2004 he became the lead vocalist of From First to Last, but three years later he took his stage name Skrillex and began a solo career. His first mini-album of 2010, Scary Monsters and Nice Sprites, became incredibly popular and earned him many music awards. Afrojack was not even five years old when he could play a simple tune on the piano. The older Nick Van de Waal grew, the stronger his love for music became. Having taught himself how to work with Fruity Loops, he began to rework well-known hits. At the age of 16 he personally presented one of his remixes at the Las Palma Club, not even counting on wide public recognition. But the desire to develop in this direction grew stronger, and Nick began looking for artists for collaborative singles. 
one of the most popular tracks was Take Over Control, recorded together with Eva Simons. Watch these videos if you want to see more interesting content about celebrity transformation. See you in the next videos.